All right, 90 quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons that have quad, meaning four sides, and we need to learn to classify them. Firstly, uh, there are two sort of types of polygons. There's a convex quadrilateral, has four interior angles less than 180. So each of these will be less than 180, sort of, uh, uh, sort of a whole shape that doesn't have anything bulging inward. All vertices point out outward. So a non-convex quadrilateral has one interior angle greater than 180 degrees. Here it is here. So, and you see there's a sort of pointy any bit. That's how you spot a non-convex quadrilateral. And if you want to measure it, make sure if it has one interior angle that's greater than 180. And remember, if you had a straight line, you have 180. And this is greater than that. So that means you've got yourself a non-convex quadrilateral. So again, quadrilateral has four sides, but there's lots of different brands of quadrilateral. Now, parallelograms are quadrilaterals. They have four sides and they have two pairs of parallel sides. So there's a bunch of different types of these, okay? So a parallelogram has two parallel sides, two parallel sides of equal length. And in this case, the opposite angles are equal. So if both of them are parallel to each other, you see how these symbols, these arrows, indicate that these two lines are parallel to each other. And these double arrows indicate that these two lines are parallel to each other. And you also see the slashy slashies that indicate that those are the same length as each other. So we're really, really working on it. And so that says to me that those opposite angles are going to be equal to each other. That's the joy of a parallelogram where we have parallel sides parallel sides on an angle like that. A rectangle is a parallelogram, but all the angles are 90 degrees. So yeah, yeah, these are all types of parallelogram. Um, but when you have a parallelogram that's got 90 degree angles, see again, we have these two sides of equal length and parallel to each other, and these two sides of equal length and parallel to each other. It is a parallelogram with a special name called rectangle. A rhombus is a square that got that fell over a little bit. Uh, a rhombus is also known as a diamond. Is it still a parallelogram? You bet. But in this case, a parallelogram with all sides being equal. And you see here that one little slashy means that each of these sides is of equal length. But again, the opposite angles are equal. They're not 90 degrees. And two of the sides are parallel. And the other two sides are parallel with each other as well. So a square that's fallen over sideways with... Uh, sides of equal length is a rhombus or diamond still in the family parallelogram. Guess what? It just, it just keeps getting better. So a square is a rhombus, but it actually has those 90 degree angles like a rectangle does. So all the sides are equal in length like a rhombus, except all of these angles are equal. It's still true that the opposite angles are equal to each other. They're just all 90 degrees. And that's a parallelogram that's got a special name called a square. Then we've got these other special quadrilaterals, and they include the trapezium. Trapezium has one pair of parallel sides, um, and that's how we're going to define it. So these two can be different. These angles are different to each other, but what makes it a trapezium is that they're not necessarily the same length, but they are parallel to each other. And a kite is pretty special. So two pairs of side of equal length. So you can see that these two are equal to each other. And these two are equal to each other in length. And in which case, this one pair of opposite angles is equal in size. But these two are not necessarily equal to each other. They won't be equal to each other if you've got a kite. So being able to classify these tells us a whole lot about these different types of quadrilaterals. Okay, again, a quadrilateral has four sides. A parallelogram, and there are many different types, have two pairs of parallel sides, and they vary a little bit um, with their side length. Trapezium has one pair of parallel sides, and the other two can be different. And a kite is exactly what it looks like, and it's got those two pairs of equal length and one pair of opposite angles. So if we're looking at this, what type of quadrilateral do we have here? Let's look at A. For A, 
we've got an angle that's greater than 180 degrees. This one doesn't fit any of the, the definitions above. It's not a kite, it's not a square, a rhombus. So that's just going to be a non-convex quadrilateral. Now this one, B, this one is convex. And what we know is it's got two parallel lines. But if we go back and look, it's not enough to be a parallelogram because parallelograms have two sets of parallel lines. They're both parallel. And so what we have here is one pair of parallel lines. So it looks like we've got us here a trapezium. Now, let's get into it.